show you how to change the size of the elements and the papers that you get from basicgray.com. I'm going to be doing this demonstration in Photoshop Elements version 8 and I'm going to be using a selection of elements and papers from the Scarlet Letter collection. Some of them are from the starter kit and the rest are from the add-on kits. This love note is actually from the notes kit and in order to change the size you need the bounding box around it which you'll typically get if you've used the move tool to pull it onto your layout or if you've copied and pasted it onto your layout. If you don't have the bounding box which is this dotted line with the hollow squares you simply need to click on the layer that it's on or click on the element itself and it should select it. To resize it you're just going to go to one of the corner handles where you get the double headed arrow and you're going to press in and you can push in on any corner handle and then you can get, once you get the solid headed arrow, you can move it into place. So it's very simple to do. Once you get it the size that you want it and the location you want it, click the green check mark. Now, to change the size of the papers, in this case I've used a 12 by 12 paper and I've changed it into a rectangle, I'm going to show you how to do that. So first thing that I want to do is I want to turn off the layer that this demonstration or that this paper, this rectangular paper is on so that we can start new. I'm going to turn that off and here I've got the 12 by 12 sheet of paper and we're going to drag it on by using the move tool which is this tool in the top of the, of the toolbar. Once I drag it on you can see it comes in as a 12 by 12 and I'm going to resize it and make it smaller by going to the corner handle and pressing in. And once I've made it just a little bit larger than what I want it to be, and I'm going to press in just right here so that the width is where I want it to be. I'm going to bring it down underneath the forever title. I'm going to click the green check mark. Now the way that I can turn this into a rectangle, I can do a couple of things. The first is to use the marquee tool and drag out a selection just below here, and maybe I want just a little bit more, and hit the delete key, and that will get rid of that excess paper. Now, the, the thing that I don't like about that is it actually gets rid of the paper, so if I change my mind later on and I want the paper to be larger, or I don't want it to be, uh, or I want it to be a bigger rectangle, I've already erased that information, I can't get it back. So I'm gonna show you another method to do this so that you don't actually erase the paper. So I'm gonna undo by hitting Command Z if you're on a Mac, Control Z if you're on a PC. I'm going to deselect by going up to Select and Deselect. Now what I want to do is drag out or, or um, make a new layer and actually make a rectangle the size that I want this paper to be. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn off the paper so that we can see the rectangle. I need to start a new layer by going to this new layer icon which is a square right here with the corner turned up. Now for those of you working prior to this version of Photoshop, that'll actually be at the top of the layers palette rather than at the bottom. I'm going to click on it. It, has a, it brings up a new layer here. And I actually want this new layer to be below the paper, so I'm going to click and drag it below the paper layer. Now to make my rectangle, I've got the marquee tool selected. I click and drag out a selection that I think is going to be just a little bit bigger than a photo. And once I have that selection, I go up to the Edit menu, choose Fill Selection, and the default is white, which is fine, and click OK. Now I need to deselect to go to Select and Deselect to get rid of my marching ants. Now I'm going to select the paper layer, turn it on. I see that it covers that rectangle, which is what I want. And now I want to attach it to the rectangle. To do that, I go up to the Layer menu and I choose Create Clipping Mask. For those of you that are working on a prior version of Photoshop Elements, this command will be called Group with Previous. The keyboard shortcut, however, is the same, which is Control G on a PC, Command G on a Mac. And you can see that it attaches it to that rectangle. So that's how you would change the, the size of the elements and the papers that you get from basicgray.com.